Welcome to Art Tip 37, and this is a cool one because we're going to be going over this new package I just found out about called Data Editor. And this is really cool because it's great for beginner R users that want to be able to adjust data using a GUI. So this is very similar to Excel where you've got cells and you can click on them and you can actually edit them and say you want to change this to B4, you can change it and then you can save the data. So we'll uh, go through how you can utilize this type of tool in your process, especially when you're just learning R and you want to be able to do some simple things like changing the data around. Cool. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to X out of this for now and we're going to head into our R tips. So if you're new to R tips, what you need to do, you need to sign up for the R tips newsletter. That's going to get you access to all the code that you see here today. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to do a quick git pull and when you sign up, for the newsletter, you'll be able to have access to not only this tip, but all of the tips. And so we're going to be working in 037 data editor, and we're going to click on this file. It's going to open up this. Make sure you have your outline open so you can follow along and we'll kind of go down through this. So um, the first thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be working with data editor. So you need to install that. And then what we're going to do is library data editor. We're going to use the tidyverse package and the tidyquant package. The next thing uh, we're going to load in the data set. So our data set for this week is again, we're going to be using the MPG data set. And I love working with this data set because you get to see it in so many different ways if you follow these R tips. So uh, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to fire up the data editor. So we're going to use this function data underscore edit from the data editor package and it's as simple as this you can just run this here control enter and then that gives you access to the data editor so here's how it works what i can do is i can modify cells so if i wanted to change this to say b4 and do this and then this and then now if i look at mpg subset and there it says b4 so you can make these changes. Um, honestly, the, the easiest way rather than overwriting data is if you uh, run this and then if you make your changes in here. So if I do like B4 and then what you can do is you can download this. So I'm going to download this to um, just a, a, a data CSV file, save that. We can see it's got that B4 in here. Okay, so we can also select columns. So if I want to use the selection tool, and if I just do manufacture model, say cylinder, city, highway, and class, uh, if we close that, then it selects out those. And again, you can do use the download fun function to save it as a CSV, or you can overwrite it by do clicking this button here and then clicking done. And then what that does is it, it uh, creates a um, some some output here. One other thing that it comes with is this interactive data editor. So um, this just pulls, it's an RStudio add-in. It pulls up the, the, um, the information here. Uh, and if you type in your data set, so MPG, it'll pull it right in. So that, that's pretty cool too. Um, all right, so that's just a preview of the data editor. I like this package a lot. I can't wait to see where it goes. Um, I do want to mention though, if uh, you're really interested in learning data science for business, uh, there's a lot more to learn and you're eventually going to want to get beyond these GUI tools and that's where I can help you even further. So I have a one-on-one -on -one course. Um, so here's just an example of like what I would teach in the one-on-one -on -one course. Uh, we have our raw data and we might want to come up with some sort of visualization that looks like this where we are analyzing that data um, me being the manufacturer by model city highway and class and creating a plot. So I, I would teach you how to do all of the data wrangling portion, which is getting all the data wrangled and into the right format. Um, I teach that in week two and then the visualization. I teach that in, in week um, in week four. So that's actually coming up with this ggplot code. And then through that process, you learn a ton um, in that course. And that's just one course. I have five full courses. So if you're interested in learning more, um, definitely check out the five course R track. I have links in the video notes 